But uh, what would be, and you don't have to be somebody I name off on this list. If, if you're one of the other little small channels that watches us, and if you want to spread it around, get it asked other people the same question, I'm fine with that. But I don't know what would be the one thing that you would just magically go poof and have it done and not have to mess with. Now the channels I'm gonna challenge is living a dream. The Rainbow Valley Ranch, if y'all have it, if you're watching me and you like me and you haven't tuned into them, tune into them. I don't know how to do links, I don't know how to put stuff over here. But uh if uh if you haven't been watching them, try watching them. They're a good Christian family. They're doing a youth camp. You need to check them out. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the ranch, ranch, friends. We were recently challenged by our friends Chris and Darlene over at Homesteading the Hard Way. And they had a really good question for us and a few other channels. So um, we took a lot of time to really ponder and discuss what our answer to this question would be. And the question they had for us is, if we could just snap our fingers or wiggle our noses and have one of our gazillion projects just done, poof, what would it be? And that was a loaded question for us because we have some projects that we just can't do in our own capacity. We're going to need, um, we're going to need a miracle for yep. some of these projects. So together as a family, we've been talking about some of the things that we need to get done. As per usual with our family of five, none of us agree on any no. of the choices. We all have a different idea of what needs to be done here and what's the most important or what's the most tedious that we don't want to do ourselves. Did you say school? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all four of us. <laughs> Can I second that? Can I second school? Ow. Can school be done if I snap my fingers? Yes. Oh, yeah. I like this. I like the, I like where we're going with this. So we've narrowed it down to two projects that we think are pretty important. Now our projects are not really pertaining to homesteading, even though we are very much interested in homesteading. We're very much interested in growing our own food here, and it is something that we want to teach our campers, but we are building a youth ranch. Yes. So there are things that we need for our youth camp that are going to be priorities for us, one of which is a pavilion. We are yeah. planning on building a rather large pavilion that is going to be our meeting space for much of our camps. A lot of activities are going to take place there. It's where we're going to be having... Um, gatherings and festivities yeah. and we have plans of doing um, a Christmas display so the majority of the things that we have going on here are going to take place at that pavilion and so it needs to be rather grand in the future we are hoping to have weddings there things like that so that was one that would be really nice just to go ahead and wiggle my nose and have that pop up Done. Um, <laughs> and then pockets. and then the second project I'm going to let you guess who came up with this oh, one. that was me. And it came out my mouth before anybody made any decisions or thoughts on this. And that's a zip line. Yeah. <laughs> when, we, when we bought this property, I said that was going to be the very first thing that the Lord was going to bless us with on the youth ranch was a zip line. Yes, this is, very, line. this is very top priority <laughs> in Mark's agenda is Mine the too. zip line. <laughs> So we've decided, we, we can't decide. So in order to come up with an answer to this question, we had to get drastic. Now, guys, what have we been learning in school that the government does when they can't reach a decision? They shut down? What's the other thing the government does when they can't come to an agreement? They take a vote. Good job. So we're going to take a vote and we're going to decide which project we would pick if we could just snap our fingers. I don't even know the answer to this yet. So, everyone in favor of the pavilion, raise your hand. Okay, well, my vote counts for two people. Okay. <laughs> Cheater. Nope. Nope. Two people, mm -hmm. Piper and Mom. Okay, and everyone in favor of the zip line. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> if Rainbow Valley Ranch had the magical power to wiggle our nose or snap our fingers, and get one project done, we'd have a zip line right That's now. Right. So a special thank you to our friends over at Homesteading the Hard Way, 
Chris and Darlene. Go check them out. We absolutely love them. We'll put a link in our description below. The first family we'd like to challenge with this question is a newer channel and so far we absolutely love them and we are so inspired by them and their excitement. Um, they're embarking on quite an adventure themselves and I'm sure they have a laundry list of projects. Sure. So the first channel is Elk and Anchor Homestead. They have their property, but they are in the middle of um, building their homestead. So yeah. we wanted to put out this question to you guys. If you could snap your fingers, what would you do? Go check them out. They just seem like pretty extraordinary people. So let's encourage them along on their journey as they begin to build their dream. The second channel we'd like to call out is Natalie at Hey It's a Good Life. Natalie, no matter where you live at the moment, we all have a list of projects that we need to get done. So um, I know that you're on your journey towards your homestead and you're not waiting. And I think that's brilliant. And I wish we would have done the same when we were still living in the city. So I have so much respect for Natalie over at Hey It's a Good Life. And I would love to know what project would you pick if you could snap your fingers and have it done for you already? Number three for our list of channels is Sunshine Farm um, in, I believe, upstate New York. Forgive me, Jen, if that's wrong, but they are in New York on a beautiful homestead. And very inspired by these two that they have taken on this endeavor at such a young age. I just feel like they're doing it the right way. And so we would like to know from them um, what would you do if you could snap your fingers? And then the last channel that we love, and every time I watch their videos, they just make me smile. They're so funny. Um, Bare Bottom Acres. Um, they did a collaboration with how they came up with their name, and it was awesome. And so I just like to know um, from you guys, what would you do if you could snap your fingers and have a project done for you already? So go check out these channels, all wonderful channels. Thanks again to all of you for supporting us, for watching our channel, for subscribing and liking the videos. The comments have been such a blessing to us. We did not expect to receive um, such encouragement yes. um, when we started this journey. And like I said, YouTube and the purpose of why we're doing YouTube just continues to unfold. And I'm just finding um, so much love and so much support and friendship through this platform. So thanks again. Thanks. Uh, we appreciate it. God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Bye. So we needed to... So in order to the... So in... Yeah. <laughs> Channel, 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 channel,